I've got windowed mode on, so it should be fine. There we go, that works. Alright, hey guys, welcome to Pig Daily. Today we're going to do an analytical cast of a game which did not get cast, at least it didn't get cast in English, at IAM Katowice. We had a shit ton of epic games at IAM, um, and this is going to be Solar vs. Ryung. So let's take a look at it, guys. Um, the entire point of this um, kind of format of show is just going to be to both entertain, have fun, and uh, and just kind of analyze and go deep as I tend to. As the games go, so I'm going to go through it as a three-game series, I believe, unless it's like a spoiler replay. I'm pretty sure this one went three games. So um, I'll throw them all up in separate YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, for you guys watching live, basically, we're just going to kind of cast these games and see exactly how it goes. Hopefully, putting in a lot of insight to do with ZVT, and especially, I'm pretty sure Ryong plays Mech at some point. So it's going to be a lot of fun talking about that. So, without further ado, let us introduce these players sporting up here in the top right-hand side of Proxima Station. The Blue Zerg player. It is Solar. And his opponent sporting down here in the bottom left-hand side of Proxima, the Red Terran. It is Ryung. So what we're going to see here is a very standard gas-first opening from Ryung. Nothing crazy there whatsoever. However, we've actually had a very early gas pool opening from Solar, and he's sending a drone across the map, so... Okay, I remember this game. This is cool, right? So, guys, I, I, because I am kind of casting it, I um I didn't want to actually watch the replays before and, like, write down notes or anything. I, I, just, I just landed back from Poland, like, 30 hours ago or something. I'm like, man, I can't be bothered planning out a day. I just want to cast some fun games, but I do remember us actually hopping in and watching part of this game uh, on the laptops when we were doing the updates of the live games um, from IAM. And this is actually such a bizarre build order. And I really want to look at the details of this because he's going proxy hatch. And I think this is into a Ravager rush, which is like super old school. And all my internal logic says this is going to hit a lot later than if you do the normal three Ravager bust. But he's doing this off an actual economy. He's actually got way more workers. Off that bust, you do it with a 12 or maybe a 14 pool, and you end up only having like 13, 14 drones at the end of it. I think it's, what, 14, because you have 8 on minerals, 6 on gas. So with this, he is going to have 2 or 3 more drones. Um, he still has to go double gas, but he's also going to have a hatchery here, which, even if you don't break your opponent, you can use to spread creep from. So that's going to be really cool. Um, so this is like a very interesting way of hitting harder than just your gas pool rally roaches across the map. But not quite as hard as your super all-in. I'm just going to run Ravages across the map and go completely all-in. Um, oh, man. Okay, Ryung did spot it. He spotted this. Okay. So he sees the proxy hatch. What's he going to do? Is he looking for drones maybe that were coming across to build spines? I don't even know why the Reaper's not bothering to attack this. Maybe he doesn't want to show that he's actually scouted it. It looks like Ryung here just wants to see what's going on. Funnily enough, um, I did actually beat Ryung with a, a three roach pressure where he like way overreacted. Um, and that was like the game three I played against Ryong um, in a tournament about a month and a half ago. Um, so I wonder if Ryong actually has like a good response to this because I feel like it's so easy, even as like a really good pro gamer, you know, you're Ryong, you're in the semifinals of GSL, but it's really easy to still screw up and overreact. So it looks like he's just gonna build Marines. He's getting a siege tank out, double bunker. Oh, this bunker's actually blocking the repair on that reactor. That's a little bit unfortunate. Um, but Solar here, he's got two, three Ravages there now. Oh, I don't even... Ah, uh, it looks like he's not able to hit the depot and the reactor at the same time. I really think he should have focused on these depots and reactors first. Because you want to stop the marine production. You want to get the reactor because that's a very valuable structure. Yeah, and you want to do it sooner because now there's a siege tank shelling. It's going to be really hard to break that. Um, whereas that depot on the north is so exposed, you're always going to get that depot. So a little bit of odd prioritization from Solar here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it looks like Ryung here, gonna counter scout with the Reaper. He's like, oh, you don't even have an expansion. You're still on one base. Okay, I can afford to just really lock up my base, be really safe. I've got a natural mining. I'm actually doing okay with that. Um, interestingly enough, did he actually delay his command center originally? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that was already down. But uh, he's got siege tanks out. He's got two out. And at this point, because he saw there was such a late expansion, I think he's just 
You know, he probably could sell a bunker, but it looks like he's not going to bother with it. He's just staying here repairing. He is losing a lot of mining time right now. If we look at the income, you can see it's very even because he doesn't have that many STVs actually mining since so many are repairing. But as double mules drop, that's where the income is just going to go completely insane. And I can't say this has really worked out too well for Solar. He's killed a depot. He's forced a big response, but he hasn't actually... I mean, what did he kill? Three? Three? Three SCVs. He's kept some Ravages alive. I mean, that's something. But this Reaper's being annoying as well. Ooh, that Reaper. If that killed that Creep Tumor, that'd be really good. But it looks like Ryung not paying attention. He could have stayed there and dropped another KDA ch charge to blast that down. And that would have been sick. Solar here is going to be going up to a Lair as well as going up to three bases behind this. There's still an Overlord down here and Solar is still continuing to go in with the Ravages and launch Corrosive Biles when he can. But... It's not really finding any more damage. So you can see the queen has now started spreading creep back. That queen is walking home across the map after putting down three creep tumors. And this is the really sick advantage of this, is you get a creep outpost as well as the forward rush. So whenever Ryang does come to push out, he's going to have to drop a lot of scans to actually um, get this going. You know, I can almost be critical of Solar. I think he could have actually got this queen to spread this creep out even earlier, and then there would already be creep getting much closer to the middle of the map, and you actually want to race this creep back from the Terran's base to join up with your own base, and that's where shit gets awesome. That's where it gets gets so sexy. Um, of course, Ryong isn't like the the random players that I'm, I'm playing against on ladder who um, freak out whenever they see the creep outpost um, and, and just panic and die, so... I'm pretty sure he's not going to waste too many scans cleaning this up. Let's take a look. He's got a third command center about to finish. One scan goes down very well placed. This is actually a little bit dangerous. These roaches and ravages uh, have a lot more mobility than these tanks right now. But it looks like Solar, yeah, he doesn't want to lose the ravages. So he's just going to chase it home. But even that's pretty damn good there. And now he could actually respread that creep back in the same direction. Oh, man. Like, if he actually spreads this creep super actively, that'll be great. But it looks like there is a Liberator in the back base. It's killed uh, four drones so far. The Queen did chase it off. It's going to come and siege up this main base as well. Nope, it's just going to go back and hit that natural. Oh, Queen, good movement from Solar. Just going to lose one drone, and then he's going to clean up that Lib. So the Lib did a good amount of counter pressure here. It's really good to do these moves because the Zerg player, after investing in this hatchery, having these Roaches and Ravages out on the map, they're going to have so few units at home to defend. So just going across with some sort of pressure is really important. And it looks like Ryung, yeah, he's going to follow it up with just a six marine drop. Seems kind of paltry, but he just wants to do something to keep eyes on what Solar's up to. Meanwhile, what do we got back here? Five barracks production finally getting up. Stim is only just started, so it's a long time until he can actually push out. But third command center is already going down to land. Ooh, 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 the drop went in. Didn't kill anything. Third command center is already going down to land, and there's double engineering bays uh, upgrading. Compare that to the upgrades of Solar, who has a double Evo chamber, but doesn't really have the money to... Yeah, okay, he's finally starting the 1-1, one -one, but even that's been a little bit delayed here. So the upgrades are just looking really good for Ryong um, overall in economy. We've got 59 drones to 51 SCVs. That's way better for the Terran. Um, so, I don't know, things just look sexy for Ryung right now. As he explodes into marine production, and he's already got tanks building out of the factory, he's just gonna, gonna spiral out of control, I think. Um, finally clearing up this creep. I think forcing all these scans out is probably the one thing which is equalizing the economy right now. And we can see, uh, the economy is super even. Okay, so, I think Solar knows he's deep down shit creek. He needs to make something special happen. Ryung didn't didn't screw up too badly versus the pressure. He actually defended it super well. So we've got Burrow on the way, and these three infestors gathering energy. No pathogen glands, because he didn't have the money for it. So it's all going to be about landing fungals on Ryung's army. Finally gets his carapace started. Oh god, that's so late. But he really needs those upgrades. Ryung has now finally cleared up all the creep on his side of the map. He's got a fierce uh, little army building up. He's got, ooh, four marines and three siege tanks actually going around with a drop. A liberator, looks like the same liberator from earlier, has now healed up and it's queued up to come and hit this back base at the same time as this drop hits the side and these marines out on the map are clearing up creep. So suddenly Solar here, oh god, the back of his mineral line is exposed. The siege tanks are going to move forward. This siege tank is going to get in range of those gas drones and I think one of these mineral patches as well. Yes, it is. And Ryung being super annoying. The Liberator in the back starts to roast up drones. Takes down more and more. It finally goes down to those Ravager shots. These Ravagers come forward. They do take the forward siege tank out. 
but already an extra nine drones have gone down and now we see a 53 drone zerg on kind of shitty roach ravager tech with less upgrades which is appallingly bad up against a terran who's up on economy and has way better upgrades oh does manage to take out one more siege tank these infestors burrow down here they're thinking about engaging it but it looks like he doesn't want to waste his fungal just yet ryung though he's just getting out of control right now he's just going to double drop in the main base these units picking up and dropping in the natural and any little bit of damage any trading that's relatively even he can get here is going to be fantastic the drop in the back completely uncontested this drop here finally is getting chased away and this drop over here on the right ryung just getting out of control man Getting little bits of free damage everywhere again. Redrops in the main base. He's actually going to focus on that infestation pit. I think he's going to have to pick up. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is brutal. Loses the infestation pit. Ryung here just abusing his mobility, knowing he's ahead. And his 2-2 is now almost finished. As those upgrades get close to done, as the siege tank count grows, the marine count grows, I think Ryung's just going to want to finish this game off. He's already got a fourth command center going down in the main. Solar's desperately managed to get a gold base up, but he's trying to rebuild drones. His armies, I mean, what's his army value at? His army supply is even with the Terran. Oh, but this is his only chance. I mean, even army supply Roach Ravager is, is shit. It's terrible. It's so bad. Oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> at least he can, does, he gets like one Marine. Oh my god. All of his infestors go down. That's what he was counting on. There's siege tanks back here, triple tanks. There's no way the Roach Ravager can engage into that. Solar's trump card just gets taken out there. Marine tanks still dropping in the back of the base here for Ryung being as annoying as he possibly can. Uh, I wonder if he's going to siege up down there. Oh my god. You piece of shit, Ryung. <laughs> oh man, this is not a fun map to be playing Roach Ravager against a, a Terran on. Um, there's just so many cute drop angles combined with the tank position there. It's, it's pretty sexy. Drop in the main is going to get cleaned up, Ryung. Not babysitting that one as much as he should have been. But you know what? It's kind of worth it. Gets a queen, gets four or five drones. Huge army in the middle of the map. Three siege tanks as well. There's a decent amount of Roach Ravager. Not a lot of Roaches actually in front of the Ravagers. The Marines just going to stim on forward. They're just going to move right on through that bile. The Ravagers are just disappearing. Oh, man. Oh, 2-2 two, two versus 1-1. One, one. <laughs> and that's it. And that's it. All right. So cute, cute proxy hatch rav Ravager rush. Solar's, Solar's kind of cute. Um... Tried a sexy build. Didn't work very well. I, I kind of struggle to imagine what situation that build would be best in. I imagine maybe he's thinking Ryung might go CC first. His factory is going to be heaps delayed. Because of that, I can usually break the wall, do more damage with this, and still have an economic transition behind it. Um, whenever you're looking at a map with an in-base natural like this, it's very different to looking at an all-in on a regular map. Because when you see a pro gamer, you do this, you say, well, this map is so easy to defend on. Why the, why the hell would you try to do that there? And I'm not, I'm not really sure um, specifically what he was hoping for that game. I think it was probably Command Center first. Um, or for Ryung just to, to not scout the hatchery and, you know, kind of realize what was going on very late. But, um, but yeah, basically what ended, up, uh, what ended up happening is because players play greedier on those maps, everything... Um, all-ins just work twice as well. So, guys, we've got the other replay ready. Game number two. Let's dive on into map number two. Boop, boop, boop. 